Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Noah. I'm gonna watch The Expense Season 4, Episode 2. Yesterday I watched the episode 1. If you want to see my reaction video about that, I'm gonna put the link. I just had the time yesterday to watch one episode and at first I planned to watch three episodes yesterday but it was my birthday and my friends, you know, they were really early. It was not planned that they arrived into my apartment so early and finally they slept, some of them slept into my apartment so I planned at first to watch some episodes this morning and I couldn't watch them, so really. Right now I'm gonna try to watch three episodes. So normally, you know, I planned today to finish the episode 8 and in fact I'm gonna finish the episode 4. Ah! I love my friends and I love that they want to spend some time with me, you know, for my best day. Thank you, really, thank you for that, but I'm gonna be late for the expense for what I planned for it, you know, for binge watching it and for posting videos for you for it during the holidays because I know that I want to spend some time with my family during the holidays and maybe I'm gonna have to not be with them at least one day for editing the videos ta 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 you know, organization, all of that I love my friends, I love that they want to spend time with me but no, right there I didn't plan that so that's it. I'm gonna be late for the expense. And you guys, you are sending me stuff on Twitter like I already finished it, you have to prepare a box of tissues with you, really, it's really great. And stuff like that. And me, I'm like, hmm. You know, I watched the episode one during the premiere, during the Comic Con Paris. So I had the advantage, you know, on you. I was in advance and now you are really in advance. Oh, I don't like that because I don't want to have spoilers if I'm going on Twitter today or tomorrow. I don't want to have spoilers about the end of this season on Twitter. So I think that I'm not going to spend time on Twitter if you are not sending me things, you know, if I don't have notifications about things that you are sending me. Stop. Okay. So yes, yesterday I watched again the episode one because I watched it the first time during the premiere of the comic con like I said during this reaction video about the first episode you can watch the panel and also the part of the signings that I filmed and recorded for you I made a video about that so if you want to see that panel I'm gonna put the link for that and also I made a story time about that time during the comic con and also my first impressions about the first episode and stuff like that during another video so I'm gonna put the link also to this video if you want to see it I was also showing the drawings that I made for the Inktober about the expense and stuff like that Okay, so now we're gonna watch the episode 2 so you know I'm gonna discover something new about the expense something that I'm... yes, I'm really gonna discover what is happening during this episode 2 We left the Rocinante crew on Illus I don't know how to say it in English Illus, Illus, I don't know so maybe sometimes I'm gonna use one or one other pronunciation for this word We left them on Illus with refugees and with the group of scientists, the group of inner scientists who were fighting, you know, the two sides were fighting and were also asking to the Rossi crew why are you there, are you gonna be on our side or on our side? You know, we saw them welcoming the Rossi crew and saying that I'm the boss and I'm the boss of the place and we saw also that it was really, you know, a conflict like Everything can wake up this conflict and can wake up a fight between them because we had a moment where they were pointing guns at each other and poof! Something came, a cloud of things attacked them and you saw my theory during the review of the first episode. I had this first impression the first time that I saw the episode and I cannot think about anything else 
you know, that thing attacked when they were violent with each other and I had the impression that that thing is gonna attack each time that they're gonna be violent. Like we know that the proto molecule is attacking when it had the impression that we were gonna attack it, you know. That's what happened into the ring and stuff like that. So I have the impression that if something, if these things are connected with the proto, it's gonna happen like that also into Elus. And right there, that cloud of things attacked when there were punching guns, being violent, and all of that. So can it be possible that what happened into the ring with the proto attacking because it was feeling attacked? Can it be possible that it's gonna happen like that also on Illus? That's my theory for now. But you know, we have also to consider the time when something also attacked the ship. And maybe it considers, I mean, the proto considered that also like a threat because of the machines that they had or stuff like that. Can it be possible? Because when the Rossi arrived into Illus, he didn't consider it as a threat and we don't know if when the refugees arrived you know with their ship were they attacked or not i want to know that to confirm my theory or you know to just okay i'm wrong i'm really wrong and i don't have any theory about what is happening right now but we know that there is something about the proto with this planet there is something going on because of what we saw during the trailer, but also because we have this impression and also Chris Wren is saying stuff about that. Chris Wren, during the first episode, she was already the queen. We know now that we are on Amazon, so they are not gonna censor anything about Chris Wren, what she's saying. She's gonna say fuck as she wants and that's gonna be great. That's gonna be the real Chris Wren, you know. And yes, the first episode was really great because it was a way to meet again each character to see where they are in their lives and in their minds. We saw Melba being into that prison, calling Amos. We saw that there is a little connection between them. I'm not shipping them or stuff like that, but there was something right there. We saw also that my baby <laughs> Draper, she is... A mechanical now you know that there was a trail a public trail that a lot of persons are recognizing her now and i have the impression that she's going to be used at some point by someone because we saw also that she wants to be on mission again that she's missing that so yes i i don't know that girlfriend also of that boy i have the impression that she's gonna i, I don't know I have a bad feeling about her, about her maybe using Draper. I don't know why I have this impression, but yes. Naomi, she's getting used to gravity and that's so sweet and so great to see that, to see her discovering that. And also we have all of these discussions about politics, you know, about the refugees, about the belters who are now working for the inners, you know, because they are defending all of the rings and I, I can't choose a side into that discussion, into that debate. I, I can't choose a side because I'm understanding every point of view. I can understand the belters who are like, we have lands, we have a lot of lands in all of these new planets. Why? couldn't we you know use it why we deserve to have a planet a land somewhere to live to breathe some air to to try to have a real life and i can understand that and i understand also that with all of their backgrounds you know all of their story with the inners they don't want to work for the inners also another time right there so yes that's a big question you know the belters but also the refugees i think that this season is going to be really political and really about society subjects with the refugees and with the belters and i love that i loved that about the show during the first seasons and i love that also about the show for this new society subject and it's also great because you know the fact that now we have all of these new planets 
all of this new solar system and all of that, all of these new stars. I think that it's really interesting, it's going to be really interesting because since the beginning we had a universe, we were used to that universe, we were used to the rules of this universe and to have all of these new possibilities, all of these new planets, all of these new things, it's really bringing new questions, new dilemmas and new interesting yes i think that it's really like okay we had rules for this universe but now we have a lot of universes so of course it's gonna change all of that of course it's gonna disturb us i mean us them with what they thought about how to rule how to to deal with that even if we add a time jump you know they had a time to make new rules but we don't know really if they are working if they can work in a long time i don't know i think that it can be interesting to see that holden holden and miller you know, we had Miller saying and repeating to Holden that he had to find a new clue for their case and that he had to give him a ride. And when they entered into the ring, Miller said goodbye to Holden saying, okay, thank you for the ride and he left him. My theory about that is the fact that the proto used Holden with Miller to get outside of the ring, to do what? I don't know, to take informations? I don't know, I, I don't know really if I'm right or wrong with that. And then came back into the ring, and now that it came back, it left Holden. I'm not sure that we're gonna see Miller on Illus, you know? I'm not sure that Holden is gonna see Miller on Illus, or at least we are not gonna see him again until Holden is gonna come back into the ring. I don't know. I have this impression. Or maybe we're gonna see him again when Alden is gonna find that new clue. Maybe, we'll see. But really the first episode was there for us to reconnect with the characters and also what changed into that universe. The episode one was really more about that than about the proto, I think. And for some moments, for some episodes, I think that it's gonna be really about the refugees, about these society subjects and also about the characters and little by little we're gonna have a little more information about the proto but I'm not expecting to have answers you know about the proto at least during this first half of the season it would be too easy okay stop talking and let's go now for this episode 2 I'm so excited I'm so excited because really I'm gonna discover something new with this episode because you know I knew already the episode 1 before watching it with you so right there I'm gonna discover it really I'm gonna discover this episode too Let's go! I'm so excited I'm so excited and I need me <laughs> Sorry I'm preparing the episode so I have a little time It can't stop raining since one week now. It's so boring. <laughs> are you ready? Am I ready? Subtitles are ready. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know the excitation that you had maybe for the first episode of this season? I'm having it now for this second episode. Johnny? The proto is talking to the proto. The proto is working on something. Maybe something else, something bigger. I think that it's a metal that we don't know. Mm. Yes. Oh yes, because they touched everyone.
What? Here's they came from the Sword Dora, a prospective UN colony ship at the blockade for nearly 13 weeks waiting for permission to transit the rings. Someone floated them? No one should be part of did this. In your lot, I can pay ransom. There is no gain in this. Peace cannot change the century of Angle overnight. And uh, there are belters who still know how to hate. Belters did that? We'll deal with it. You have to. Just interesting info that Sometimes I fucking hate being right. <laughs> Me when someone is dying into a show. <laughs> I don't know who you are. Oh! It's a husband? I did not recognize him. That's a ship. It's the first time that a UN ambassador is coming to Mars? You have to go! The girl. I said that she was gonna be important. Oh, we know what it is now. Formerly gunnery sergeant, the murder driver of the Martian Marine Corps, told that I was seen to run my boss. <laughs> you discharged. You think you're funny? Do you? She is. Customs Inspector First Class Richard Sanji. We don't know him. The cargo container this morning with his neck snapped. You think that she did it? The girl. That girl. She did it. What? Having dinner. With She's not just a marine. Yes, she's gonna go. You seem very fond of Earthers. For a Martian, I mean. Fuck you. Yes. Everything I was gonna say it. Mars, I came back here to willingly face a court martial for Mars. Look at her. Of course she can. She didn't do anything. You let us know if you learn anything that might be useful for investigation. Ah, see. She's gonna learn something about that girl. She's so her uh, being right there. No. no that's why we're here. Sure that it's really not that. Ah! Am I making a new friend? Can it be possible that these little things, you know, with the cloud did that? I think that it was something bigger. Be careful, Amos. I think someone blew up this bag. Yes. Someone, you said. Only that there was no lithium here. Okay. Yes, no, not at all. You don't know them. Don't talk bad about the belters. I'm gonna be like that. What are you made about? I think that it's made in the same thing, the same metal than these little things, you know? Well then, touch that thing. This structure, approximately 1.5 billion years old. This structure predates multicellular life for this planet. It's been here since the only things were bacteria and If you are considering that this planet is working like Earth, but maybe it was not. Three biomes the local biosphere, and now us. That's a lot of interacting systems. There's no way to tell how they'll mix. When the swarm shows up, maybe you'll see how they get out. Ah, be careful, be careful, be careful. Let's go. Feel something? Anything? No. What were you expecting? Something! <laughs> A vision! It feels dead. The proto left that planet because it was all dead. The proto needs power, you know, yeah, needs no, 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 electric no, 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 no. power and stuff like that. So maybe they left yeah. that planet because they hadn't anything. But you never we saw anything, fun. okay. Well, we are here to help. Should we be starting to believe that? That's great. There's a sword around here. Are you really easy to drink? Are you asking me? Huh? Then we got two new customers. This is Jacob, my husband. Nah. I'm Dr. Fasia. Hello. If Alden did not feel anything because it's dead, the proto left that planet. How the bugs are working, you know, without proto. This season is gonna be really tough for understanding 
where the proto came from. No, I'm not believing you to that. I'm not sure that the bugs did it. I'm sure that the betters didn't do it. Just threatening them. Give a land to a few people, of course they are gonna fight for it. You're really gonna ask people to wait for years to go there? Of course she is. And of course she's not wearing a dress. You're gonna meet again. I loved their relationship, you know, between Bobby and Chris Wren. Excuse me? Oh! I'm not a sergeant anymore, so I have wanted to meet you for such a long time. Thank you in person for saving my Christian's life. My dear friend, Admiral Michael Sauber once said, The war does not end when people put down their guns, and our true loyalty is not only to Earth or Mars alone, but to our shared humans. But my planet has no monopoly on people of courage and conscience. They're here as well. That's great, but I don't like how Draper is reacting to that speech. Against Belters, Ashford is not gonna be fully okay with that. Calm down, you. You're not just giving orders. You're working together. Mm. That's gonna be an issue. 